So I'm going to show you how easy it is to create layered mandalas such as this using one simple line. And if I was to turn off the rendered image, you can see it's just a lot of layers built on top of each other to create the final piece. So I'm just going to select the pen tool and I'm going to click and drag and then I'm going to click and drag again. Then I'm just going to press escape and select the first one and up here I'm going to type 200 and 35, click escape, select this one, I'm going to choose 150 and 100, click escape again and click done. Once we've done that we just need to select that and copy and paste and then we can go to the mirror tool and reflect horizontally. Now if I just zoom in we need this position to be here so I'm going to type 200 and leave it at 50. Once we have that we can select both of these lines, choose offset at about a distance of 3 and then click confirm. From there I'm just going to open the layers panel and turn off the eyeball for these single vectors. Then we just need to select these and go to the applications panel and choose circular array. From there I'm just going to alter the Y position. I'm just going to keep my finger on it until it goes up and up and up until it looks about there which is about 150. I'll type in 150 and click done. Now we have some overlapping vectors and they look quite nice. So I'm going to select those and choose Unite. Then I'm going to select these vectors and align center. And then I'm going to copy and paste and resize to about 140 and align center. Now we know that the thickness of this is six millimeters. And if we count up one, two, three, four, five, six, we can see it is. Whereas this one, if I find somewhere that's near on the line, it's one, two, three, nearly four. So now we've rescaled this. I'm going to offset these again by one millimeter and click confirm. And then I'm just going to select the inside ones and delete. So now we have these that are one, two, three, four, five, nearly six. So they're very similar. I'm going to select this one and align center. Then I'm going to copy and paste and resize again and choose align center. And this one is one, two, just over three. Then I'm going to offset these about one and click confirm. And again, delete the inside lines. Just make sure that's centered. From there, we can select all and choose Unite. So we have the first layer. From there, I'm going to put this onto the engrave process to fill it in. And I'm going to choose Offset. And we know that these are six millimeters. So I'm going to choose three, which would make it three either side and click confirm. I'm going to move this one onto a darker layer and put it onto the engrave process. And if we open up the layers panel, we just want to move this one below the top layer. And if I call this one top, we can now see we've got layer one and layer two. Then I'm going to choose that same second layer 
and choose offset again and again by three millimeters and then click confirm and put that onto the engrave process we just need to bring that one lower and i'm going to change the color to purple then i'm going to do it one more time i'm going to choose offset by three millimeters then click confirm again and this one i'm going to put onto the black layer and rearrange that so we have the four layers then all you would need to do is just move them and cut them all separately so there you can see we have the four layers and once you have cut these out you could stain them all different colors and then layer them up and with the original image you can see that these are slightly different colors and layered up and it looks quite nice now there's lots of different examples i've got here but you can really make um, quite a lot of shapes just with one single line and if you were to rotate it 12 times like this one you can actually put numbers around here and use it as a clock if you had a, about an eight millimeter hole in the middle and a clock mechanism you have a clock you could use them for coasters decorations hanging ornaments or anything really anyway i hope this tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video